All right, happy Monday to you. That means that Jeff Isaac, lawyer in Blue Jeans, is with us today. And we have a great question, one that a lot of folks can relate to. It comes from Jane, and she says, I was given a uh, ticket last week for speeding. I was going 73 miles an hour, and the flow of traffic seemed to be with me or even a little faster. I explained this to the officer, but he said you were speeding and you violated the law, therefore I am ticketing you. What are my <laughs> rights? What do you think, Jeff? And how often do we go on the freeway where we see people going 75, 80 miles an hour and police just watching them go by? Absolutely. We see it well, all the time. The other thing that's aggravating about this, not to take her side too much off the bat, but 75 doesn't sound all that fast to me, especially on a California freeway. And if you're going slower than that, you almost feel like you're just creating more of a hazard for folks. Which leads me right into the law. Okay. <laughs> and that is, we have two parts. We have the basic speeding law, which basically says that no person can drive where it's not reasonable, prudent, based on the weather conditions and the traffic conditions and all that stuff. That's the arbitrary kind of, you know, kind of one large thing. Then you have the maximum speed law, and that's what the officer actually caught this lady on, and that basically says this, and everybody needs to know this, that the, the maximum speed in California is 70 miles an hour if posted. If it's not posted, it's 65. End of discussion. So it, what she's done is if she admitted that she was going 73, you know, again, that's a different issue if she wants to fight it, but if she admitted or was going 73, let's put it that way, then that is a violation of the maximum speed law in California, and she's guilty. Does it doesn't matter if you're going with flow of traffic no, or not? No, it seems like it should. Mm -hmm. And generally, common sense and, and the reality of our world is that it does, but that's the police officer had the discretion to say, look, you're over 70, 70 miles an hour, you're guilty, I'm ticketing you, and that's what happened in this case. And then, how do, do you know how it works from that point? I haven't... Fortunately, knock on wood, I haven't gotten a ticket in a long time, but yeah. how does it work? So you're 73, then what are you going to get uh, per mile per hour? Well, or whatever uh, it, you it depends. Yeah, I'm not sure the, what the fine would be, but what you want to do is look to traffic school and or if you're going to contest it, you want to uh, basically do it by mail, by declaration. That's another segment we should do because that's a great way to maybe come out okay when you contest a, a traffic ticket. Judge, have any leeway if you go to court on this? No. Nope. No. <laughs> I hate to say that, Jim. Oh, man, end of party no, but, right there. Yeah. No, yeah, to turn done. out the lights. You're, yeah, <laughs> the party's over. Stay, right. Be careful out yeah, there, guys. Be careful out there, no doubt. All right, Jeff, great to talk to you okay. again. We'll see you on Wednesday. But, well, still ahead.